A-level dance is a great way to expand on your existing dance knowledge and there's a lot of emphasis on developing your technical and physical skills and we do this by performing the techniques of Martha Graham, Merce Cunningham and Lester Horton. You also take traditional jazz classes every week and that's a really fun way to let off steam but also to learn some fast paced routines. Choreography is an important feature on this course and you'll explore different starting points to create movement. For example, this year we've looked at poetry and paintings as a way to create dance. The theory complements the practical and you learn about the pioneers who have shaped the dance world. It's a really creative and technically demanding course, but overall it's such a wonderful way to continue exploring what you love at a higher level. Welcome to Drama and Theatre A-Level at HSDC. This is going to be your four minute overview of the course. How will it begin? Well, year one is your theatre workshop. This is 20% of your qualification. You will create a piece of theatre based on an extract from a text using the techniques and working methods of either an influential practitioner or theatre company. You'll work in groups of two to five. It'll be from an extract from a collection of plays set by the exam board. For example, this year we're looking at a play called 100 and another play called The Seagull. Complete contrast in style. So you have the opportunity to reinterpret the play in the selected style of a chosen practitioner or theatre company. This will culminate in a performance performed and filmed for an invited audience, COVID permitting, at the Studio Theatre. As regards written work for this, you will keep a regular creative log of your rehearsal process, which will identify key moments of development in your rehearsal. At the same time, you will also be looking at component three, beginning, text and performance, 40% of your qualification. So at the end of the course, you will sit the two and a half hour exam. The first text that you'll be studying is Hedda Gabler. In U2, you will study a post-1956 text, in this case, Accidental Death of an Anarchist by Dario Fo, also an extract from The Curious Incident of a Dog in the Nighttime. These texts, you will practically explore all of them, considering all aspects of the play as an actor, designer, and director, and a lot of ands, an informed member of a theatre audience. Year two, component two, 40% of your qualification. You will 
participate in the creation, in the development and performance. One device piece, one text piece. The device must be in a completely different style from that which you have used in the first year. For example, this week, second years are going to be participating in a all day theatre workshop with Frantic Assembly, live streamed into the studio theatre at Havent, where they will learn valuable skills of devising and creating material. In contrast to that, they will then choose an extract from a text in a contrasting style to the device performance. So for example, it can be naturalistic. With both of these pieces, you will keep regular notes of the process and produce a process report and an evaluation, all of which will be done within a week of the performance. Finally, component three, you will finish in year two. You will again practically explore all texts considering all aspects of the play as an active designer, director, and informed member of the audience. Accidental Death of an Anarchist is the second play, and the final one, an extract from The Curious Incident. Underpinning all of the course is live theater, or on this occasion, fantastic digital productions that we have access to, for example, the National Theatre Online. We will consider how they have created these pieces and they will influence your creative decisions for your acting, designing and directing. Overall, the course gives you an enriching, creative and fun experience of drama and theatre. Hello and welcome to your virtual open evening for A-Level Music at HSDC Haven't Campus. My name is Camilla and I'm the course manager for music at Haven't. So our ethos is that we want to create a nurturing environment for you to grow as a musician and a student. So if you're passionate about music and playing your instrument, this is the course for you. We study music creatively, practically and theoretically, with a particular emphasis on performing and composing. So this is our um, lovely music department or the main teaching room of our lovely music department. Um, we are a new department at Havent Campus, which is really exciting. We're based in a quiet corner of the campus um, within the performing arts bubble. So we have drama next door and dance next door as well. Um, so with this, we have a full Mac suite, um, which is great, with Sibelius and Logic Pro for all your composing needs. Um, alongside that, we've got practice rooms for use at any time of the college day, which are bookable uh, directly through me, and that's really flexible as to what you can use them for and, and when you can use them. Then next door, we've got the studio theatre for performance classes and concerts. Um, Alongside this, at the South Downs campus, there is a state-of-the-art studio and a recital room, um, which we can use. So if students are particularly interested in recording and songwriting, then uh, they do have access to that studio as well. Um, and we'll use the recital room for your official performance exams. So I've already introduced myself. I'm Camilla. Um, I'm the course manager. I am a composer, a teacher, um, of course, and a flautist. So I studied uh, classical uh, flute and um, studied at the University of Southampton, where I then carried on to get my master's in composition. Um, so I teach the bulk of the course, um, but I'm supported by the head of performance, Valentina Seferinova. So I'll just move myself over here so you can read that if you want to. Um, Valentina is a brilliant um, professional concert pianist and we are so lucky to have her input um, at uh, the Havent campus. She um, has experience of performing all around the world, before, uh, experience of recording um, and she's also a brilliant teacher. Um, she'll be your, your biggest fan and supporter in performance. Um, so we're really lucky to have her um, on the course. 
So the course, again, I need to move myself back over here. Um, the course is Edexcel A-Level Music. So this is a holistic course structure with three units. So we've got composing, performing, and appraising. Composing and performing are 30% each, and appraising is a little bit more, 40%. Um, so for composing, you have two compositions submitted in the May of your second year. So one of these is completely free um, and the other is a technical study. So demonstrating some composition techniques. So we're either in arranging, creating a remix or doing a Bach chorale harmony exercise. For performance, you'll have a performance recital of eight minutes and that needs to be grade seven plus standard. Um, so you can enter the course at grade five build on grade five, be grade six by the first year, and then be grade seven in the second year. That would be absolutely perfect. Um, then you've obviously got your final two hour listening slash essay based exam. So there is a little bit of essay writing in there, um, which might seem a little bit scary, but of course we'll develop and support you um, in those skills um, throughout the course. So not scary, really. Um, so there's a common misconception that music era was just for classical musicians. It's not. I obviously am a flautist, uh, therefore a classical flautist, but I do play the saxophone and I'm a jazzer as well. Um, so we study music from all backgrounds. Um, the freedom of the course really allows for that. Um, and also you get to decide completely what you perform and what you compose. So um, you can make it what you want, really. Lovely. So the course structure weekly then is that you have four lessons, which is one more than the other A-level subjects. We'll have one two-hour lesson of set work study, which is looking at all the different pieces that you'll need for your appraising exam. And then you have 1.5 hours of composition, 1.5 hours of theory and wider listening, and then the hour performance session each week. Um, so on the first and the third weeks of the month, you'll have one-to-one -one tuition and accompaniment sessions with myself and Valentina. On the second week of the month, we'll have ensemble rehearsals, so singing and playing together. And then on the fourth week of the month, we'll have a performance masterclass where we invite students to perform. We are able to give them feedback in a masterclass setting. And this is a really great thing for us to have. Um, OK, so into a little bit more of the admin and the boring stuff. Course requirements, you'll need five GCSEs at grade four or above. That's the same for uh, any A-level. Um, but you'll also be around grade five standard on an instrument, and you will have perhaps achieved grade four in GCSE music. Although GCSE music isn't essential if you can demonstrate um, a good foundational knowledge of music theory. So maybe you'll have grade five theory. Again, it's not essential. Um, We'll have an audition, so you'll be able to demonstrate your knowledge um, there and we can have a chat. It's very informal, so not a scary audition at all. It's just so that we can um, kind of judge your needs. Um, and like I say, have a, have a little bit of a chat about maybe um, the course and, and get to know each other a little bit better. So if you're at all interested in Music A-Level, I invite you to um, come and audition. We'll be so excited to see you and so happy to have you. Um, so, I think that's all from me. Uh, thank you for listening. I'll leave you with this uh, video of Dudamel conducting Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Um, sorry, <laughs> had to put it in there. Um, but thank you for listening. Of course, if you've got any questions, come to the drop-in session. Um, my name is Camilla, um, and I look forward to welcoming you to the music department at Havent. <laughs>